entertaining college basketball matchup ahead. This is Conference USA on ESPN+. Plus. Tonight, the FIU Panthers play host to the UAB Blazers. FIU fresh off its biggest win of the season. UAB a hard-fought loss to FAU. Welcome to the Ocean Bank Convocation Center. Great to be with Corey Brooks. I'm AJ Ricketts. UAB coming off an NCAA tournament appearance. The winning ways have continued this yeah. season. 12-3 entering tonight. It's always easier when you have the country's leading scorer on your roster. For UAB, that's veteran guard Jordan Walker. 24 points per game. Corey, what makes Walker so dynamic? And dynamic's exactly the right word, AJ. This is a genuine three-level scorer. He is impossible to defend no matter where he is on the floor. If there was a four-point shot at half court, he'd be good at that as well. This guy is locked in every single position you've got to be with him every step. FIU has a high-level score of their own yeah. and sophomore guard Denver Jones, the second leading scorer in Conference USA, was a huge factor in the Panthers earning its first conference victory of the season on Thursday. As valuable as Jelly is, you could argue Denver's even more important for this FIU team. He is the catalyst. He brings the spacing. He brings the shooting ability. He brings the confidence and veteran mentality that FIU needs game in and game out. This is a defense-first FIU team on offense. It starts and ends with Denver Jones. Panthers clawed their way to a 62-60 victory over Charlotte on Thursday as we take a look at the starting fives. Three players in this starting five for FIU. Went to the same prep school yeah. up in Massachusetts. Mohamed Sonogo has been an emergence in the paint for FIU. For UAB, so much talent aside from just Jordan Walker. There's five 1,000-point scores on this roster, and that's... That's, they're the only program in college basketball that has that, that title to their name. Andy Kennedy has done such an exceptional job with this team. And you look at that starting lineup. They sub in Ladarius Brewer for Ty Brewer. Ty had started the last six games. Now they go back to what is closer to their original starting lineup from the beginning of this season for UAB. And the reason you can tinker and still work on some things, even right now in the heart of conference play, is because you have that unbelievable depth. It makes you that much better. And now as they look for that big spark after that loss, in Boca, a quick change for AK. What a game that was. Mm. Yes, we'll get more into that. Jeremy Ballard in his fifth season guiding FIU, the former assistant for Shaka Smart up at VCU, also was an assistant in the ACC at Pitt, guided FIU to a 20-win season a couple of years ago. And for UAB, Andy Kennedy is in his third year guiding his alma mater, or he was a high-volume scorer himself, yeah. taking a lot of pride in getting UAB back to the NCAA tournament last year was their first time dancing since 2015 they very well could make it again this year the way they are off to the 2022-23 campaign Blazers control the tip we're underway glad to have you with us in Miami as games will set up the first offensive possession Buffin mm. underneath and Buffin goes up strong a quick start for UAB and that's where Mohamed Sonogo will continue to develop for FIU still a very young player you saw that starting lineup so many underclassmen he got lost in the sauce right there UAB will bring a number of dif different defensive looks throughout the game my goodness Jemison swats Arturo Dean into the the first row there. Nice start here for UAB. We talk about the Blazers' depth, but they've also got a ton of height. This is not a UAB team you can just drive on and get buckets. That's going to be the end result if you're not methodical with your approach. Here's Denver Jones. At 20 points on Thursday, 14 in the first half. Thought you trailed by as many as nine in the first half on Thursday against Charlotte. Work their way back into things. Five to shoot. Here's Guadarrama. That falls. And that's nice for Guadarrama to see. He was 0 for 5 from distance against Charlotte. Gets his first triple to go tonight. Yeah, he's still adjusting to the speed of a Conference USA game. But right there, extreme confidence. That's incredibly important for the FIU starting point guard. Transfer from New Hampshire at 18 double-figure games last year. None so far this year. Good start for him today. Three on the way from Buffett. Back rim, rebound corralled by Denver Jones. Shot doesn't fall, but you can see the FIU defense is so concerned with Jelly Walker, they're leaving a lot of other opportunities out there for UAB. That's the challenge of playing this team. Zanogo was caught in an awkward position, found his prep school teammate, Deshaun Giddens. Now Jones refused the screen. Foul on the floor, that's on Jones. It's offensive, Buffin draws the charge. And so for the first time in this game, FIU draws Jemison out of the paint. They hold Zanogo just inside the three-point line. In theory, that opens up some room to work, but this team's so fundamentally defensively sound under Andy Kennedy. 
And this is the area where this game's going to be decided, AJ. The offense for the Blazers. They want to speed up every single team they play. Top 15 in the entire country in possessions per game. If FIU falls into that game script, UAB is going to come away with a win. Arturo Dean with quite an assignment in his freshman campaign guarding the nation's leading scorer off the bat. Oh, it's Jimison underneath. Blazers have found a couple of dunks early on. Two wide open looks right underneath the basket. It's tough. We said it. You have to stop Jelly. He's going to be the leading shot attempter in every game for UAB. But the problem is there's a lot of other really good players. Andy Kennedy has brought in a number of power five transfers. He hit the portal hard. There's only one freshman on this year's roster for UAB. Jones has seven to shoot. Contested three on the way in. Good. Denver Jones from the outside. And the Panthers have hit their first two triples of the game. And it's a team that shoots under 30% from distance this year. Last year, it was a strength. They were top 15 nationally. Not so much this season. No, had some shooting to part and some changing roles. Nice catch. And Jemison couldn't haul it in. It will stay, however, with UAB. That's why it's going to be critically important for FIU, and he's not in the game right now, but Petar Kravakovic, such a gifted shooter, just took the one shot a few days ago from downtown. He hit it. They're going to need a lot more from downtown to open things up, and it starts with one of the returners. Two-point advantage for FIU here early as Walker hunting his shots. He might have had a legitimate gripe. Got hit around the ankles as he went to the floor, but there was no whistle called, and Denver Jones will bring it up the floor. That's mission accomplished for FIU. He's at the three-point line. He's going to take those attempts. That was number one in the scout for the Panthers. Get him off the arc. Arturo Dean straight to the cup. Rejected again. Now finds Sonogo one-on-one with Jemison. Fade away. That's good. Good finish by Sonogo. Really good by Mo Sonogo. He has taken over as the starting center for this team. Seth Pinckney playing just nine minutes a few days ago. Now he had perhaps the most impactful play of the game, and that's what he brings as an experienced player. But you're seeing Sonogo grow into his own for Jeremy Ballard. Nine to shoot. They go into Jemison. Double pump. Field goal good from Brewer. His first basket, averaging eight and a half points per game this season. Re recently missed three games with a broken bone in his hand. Returned on Thursday. And a strong start there. Really crisp passing on that possession, too, for UAB. No one held the ball for more than half a second. Mistimed lob. That goes out off Sonogo. Panthers turn it over. FIU did a, a better job in that department on Thursday for a team that averages 16 and a half turnovers per game. Finished at 11. And able to generate more shot opportunities. Jeremy Bowers talked about it. He's, he's not necessarily disappointed with the, the looks and his half-court offense is, is generating with consistency, but it's, it's getting those looks up. It's not turning the ball over in the first place. How about Dean forcing the turnover? Kravaka pitch. Can't finish the play. Dean. They're swinging it around. Giddens for three. Not that time. Panthers off target. Can't take advantage of the Walker miscue. So Kravakovic provides that spark off the bench almost immediately defensively. Arturo's done a really good job stealing the basketball early on in his career. Buffett. Marks by Guadarrama. Good individual defense there. Now Dean nearly got in the passing lane for another steal, but goes out of play. Fun start. Fast start in Miami tonight. Panthers up 8-6. We're at the Ocean Bank Convocation Center. It's Conference USA Basketball on ESPN+. 8-6 our score. Four minutes into the first half. A.J. Ricketts, Corey Brooks. Glad to have you with us on ESPN Plus tonight. Andy Kennedy and company look on. He was, uh, he was talking to his radio crew, David Crane and company, after the loss on Thursday. He said, look, it's life on the road. When you get in conference play, what's done is done. We've we got to dust ourselves off, got to learn for, from it. We, we shoot 10 for 20 from three. FAU goes 10 for 28. We shot 49%. Look, it's, it's going to happen sometimes like that. Got to move forward. Shot off target. Rebound knocked away. Another opportunity. That won't fall. And then we'll go over to FIU, but what he also said, partner, said our edge, man, it's been a theme yeah. for us all year. Our edge has got to be better. It's going to be interesting throughout 
course of the first half to see the intensity and the efficiency that UAB can play with. You've got to give the Owls a ton of credit. If UAB starts going downhill, they get confident, they gain that edge. FAU hit them early, never let anyone settle in, including Jelly Walker. You saw a ton of subs in that game, and accordingly, FAU took advantage. Walker had a team high 21 points, but was 7 of 18 from the field. Dean will let it go. Too strong. Walker the board immediately pushing up the floor. Yeah, Walker's going to be in double figures automatically. It's about looking at the efficiency metrics for him. He's never gone under 15 this year. He just takes such a volume that that's a given. It's a dumb cliche, but it really does apply when you talk about Jelly Walker. You're not going to stop him. You just have to contain him. A couple subs for FIU. Javante Hawkins and Seth Pinckney into the game. To, you know how many games it took him to reach 1,000 points at UAB? Not many. What's your guess? Not many. 47. There you that's, go. I'm going to guess so that's, uh, that is uh, faster than most have done it in college basketball, and particularly in Birmingham. His third collegiate stop started at Seton Hall. Was very effective at Tulane as well. Now finishing his career at UAB as K.J. Buffin with the reverse. Ties it up at eight. And that's about 20 a game, which is pretty on brand for what we've seen from Jelly Walker. Guadarrama at the free throw line. Hawkins, a good shooter. Bit short there, but Giddens earns FIU a second chance. Different look than we see. This is more Javante's game. This fires on the three there. <laughs> Leads to an opportunity in transition. The foul will be on the floor. UAB was looking to run. Hawkins, his minutes have gone down the last five games. He did have a key three-pointer in the win against Charlotte, but over the last seven games, four of 24 from distance. That is his typical calling card as Jeremy Ballard looks on. A prototypical 3 and D guy. It was a really good job by Guadarrama. Getting down to the other end of the floor nearly got the charge. Walker off the inbound. Good. See how quickly he gets the shot off. That's for three. And UAB has a three-point advantage. That's basically the quarterback sneak for this UAB offense. It's the first play in the playbook. Baseline inbounds straight to Jelly for three. Ramaka pitch. Bounces it inside. Walker steals it away. Forced the pass inside, though. Turns it over for the second time here in the first half. 7-0 UAB spurred at the moment. Giddens finds Kravaka pitch. And Pickney found himself all alone for the flush. Unselfish basketball there for FIU. Kravaka pitch had a shot. He defers, winds up with Seth. Gaines fouled. Solid avenue to drive. Took advantage after the crossover. So that'll put Eric Gaines, the LSU transfer, at the free throw line. Good friends with uh, Sharif O'Neal, who made an appearance at uh, the UAB game up in Bartow the other day when his G League team was in town. Gains 11 and a half points per game this season, coming off a 15-point, five assist performance against FAU. Yeah, man, he's spectacular. And when Coach Kennedy was looking for players to work with Jelly Walker, you need somebody who can match that athleticism and speed to be able to run with him in transition. And both Gaines boys, but particularly Eric, have done an unbelievable job of providing that outlet, making the team that much better. And when you have that level of consistent guard play, you all of a sudden look like Gaines' old team at the Power 5 level. No doubt. This is the UAB team, FAU as well, that have the numbers, the metrics, to perhaps earn an at-large bid if things don't go their way in the conference tournament will certainly Discuss that much more at length throughout the broadcast. Two-point lead right now for UAB, who extended that pressure once mm -hmm. again there, causing some issues for FIU setting up the offense. Yeah, more and more we're seeing that power five wall fall, and UAB has certainly climbed over it and is really one of the elite teams that I think a lot of folks don't talk about. Well, they had found a way to beat FAU on Thursday. Very well may be yeah. playing for top 25 consideration today. No doubt. Jones, long three, shut front rim, rebound Buffin. That was a really strong contest, but you're never mad at a Denver Jones shot if you're FIU. Panthers' best three-point shooter, maybe him in Kravaka pitch. Hawkins chasing it down, able to save it to Jones as he was falling out of play. Three on two, Kravaka pitch wanted it, got the three. The heel of the rim, Williams fighting for the board. Winds up with the Blazers pushing quickly. Walker, what a crossover. 
A hesitation rejected by Pickney, standing his ground there. Didn't fall for the pump fake. Jones, what a pass. Williams can't finish. FIU's got to be careful. This is the speed that UAB wants to play at, not FIU. Jones, NBA range three. Miss it front rim again. Williams nearly earned FIU a third opportunity. Jones is letting him fly from Fort Lauderdale here this evening. It's a 12-10 advantage for UAB. Eight minutes in here on ESPN+. Plus. And our score in Miami, UAB and FIU here on a South Florida Saturday night. Andy Kennedy's team with a two-point edge. KJ Buffin with four points thus far. FIU four, 15 from the field. Trying to get the offense going here. Out of the timeout, Gaines, coast to coast drive. He's off to Ty Brewer. And now UAB will set up a half-court offense. And you mentioned the 4 of 15 for FIU. Eight of them have been threes. The Panthers averaging a three a minute here in the early going. Gaines driving on Kravaka pitch. Tough, contested shot. And he ripped it right away from Williams. He wanted it more. Fresh shot clock here. That's one of those veteran plays, too. A younger team kind of settles in, looks to start running. FIU being a younger team, UAB took advantage. Individual defense from Jones, but the poor entry pass from Gaines. Jones all the way to the hoop, lays it in for two. That gets FIU a bit off its night. They had missed nine of their last ten shots. And tied up again at 12. Davis does a nice job, but with Jemison not on the floor, FIU all of a sudden a lot more room to work underneath the basket. Brewer got to the paint, and the floater over Kravakovic, good for two, ends a two-minute scoring drought for the Blazers. There is nothing Kravakovic could have done differently there. In phase the entire time, a hand-up contest. Sometimes UAB is just going to hit those. John Williams. Cut off baseline, and he threw it to the backcourt. So turnover there. FIU has missed nine of its last 11 shots. How can the Panthers generate better offensive looks here? I don't think the looks are the issue, to be honest with you. There's been some really clean opportunities. You look at that Kravakovic three that didn't fall. There's been some Denver attacks that have been just fine. It's not rolling right now, but you've got to stick with the process. It's process over results, especially this early on in the ballgame. The defensive effort has been great. This oh, is a really UAB nice job. team that averages nearly 87 a game. That's sixth in the country. Underneath, that's a great offensive possession. Javion Davis, the Mississippi State transfer, sends it in. That's a bucket you'll live with of FIU. It doesn't feel good, but their emphasis is the mid-range and the three-point game. You're going to have to sacrifice something. Brewer with the steal. Dean took it right back. Kravaka pitch, three. Rattled around. Everything's right. There's just nothing else you can do if you're FIU. Underneath, Javion Davis over Pinckney. Missed front rim. Jones the rebound. Jones attacking and fouled. We'll go to the line for two. And Kravaka pitch 0 for 2 from distance. Missed that last three. He's 10 for 19, though, over his last four games. He's, he's found his shooting stroke after a slow start to the season. Jones will look to cut into the deficit here at the free throw line. Played well, and you see it in the numbers in this game. FIU needs the three-point shot to fall to reignite the offense. It starts with Denver, but you can't just have one guy if you want to be a true 3 and D team. FIU does. Jones going the first free throw, and some numbers to monitor as well as Guadarrama and Sinogo enter. FIU is last in the conference in rebounding margin. Currently a 13-7 edge on the boards right now. It'll be interesting to see what UAB does in that department as well. They want to improve their numbers after being out-rebounded by FAU 39-30. And you can certainly say the Blazers have been the more physical team. I mean, the ferocity of a couple of the buckets, definitely headlined by the Blazers. But a lot of these rebounds have been right place, right time for FIU. And it doesn't come from the conventional places. You don't really see a Seth one Pinkney doing a ton of rebounding. Nick Guadarrama does an unbelievable job. Dean took it away again. He's been everywhere tonight for the Panthers. Falling out of bounds, though, somehow off the leg of Walker. And Sonogo can't finish. Still being pinballed around. Finally, Davis picks it up for UAB. Arturo Dean has been yeah. a pest defensively. Yeah, you see those steals numbers racking up in conference play. He's really settled in. 
Guadarrama takes it away from Walker. Up the floor to Dean. Good recovery. Oh, Dean operating a bit too quickly. And it trickles out of play. You always want to take advantage of those opportunities. Nick knows that's a little bit too far out in front for the youngster. That's what you want to see from Guadarrama, though. He has been there, done that in every sense. He takes that leadership role extremely seriously. Seven UAB turnovers, but just four points off of those for FIU. Andy Kennedy just a, a glare on the bench after that last giveaway from UAB. Here's an elbow jumper off the mark. Sonogo, good rebound. Deshaun Giddens, a little out of control. FIU is giving it away at a a bad rate themselves. That's their uh, ninth turnover. And for FIU, it really has been an outstanding defensive effort, but UAB and Andy Kennedy not loving the communication between his guys early on. Not something you expect with the level of veterancy, but it is important to note, like you mentioned, so many transfers for this UAB team. These guys haven't played together quite as much as some of the rosters across the country. FIU has already turned it over more tonight than the entire game against Charlotte. Yeah. Brewer in the corner, knocks it down for three. And part of that is some stuff FIU would like back, but it's also important to note, this Blazers team is not that 49ers team. 19-14 UAB. Sonogo, a little out of sorts here. Well, Denver Jones, though. Jones pleading for a foul, thought he got hit on the wrist. Jelly Walker just guarded a center. That's the type of athleticism this kid has. <laughs> Great pass underneath. I thought you wanted to travel. Jemison, no. Rebound, whistle, and it's going the other way. Offensive foul on Jemison. Yeah, he's going to throw his weight around. He has a physicality advantage that I don't think anyone in this game can match. But FIU needs to stand their ground, establish position, and win the race. They do. Felt like the entire FIU defense had collapsed there. To try. It's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. That. Leave one guy on Jelly, put the other four on 55. Okay, he's out on the perimeter defending here. Are you able to swing it to Guadarrama? Already has one today. Put back, Sonogo gets it to fall. That's the first FIU field goal in the last three minutes. 19-16. And accordingly, it's the best half-court offense we've seen from FIU all night. Really good, whipping it around quickly, decisive, finding Guadarrama wide open. Brewer had it poked away. They'll stay with the Blazers after the media timeout. Entertaining affair thus far in Miami. Blazers and Panthers going back and forth. Three-point edge for UAB. The stage is set in Frisco, Texas. Ford Center at the Star is being transformed to your home for exciting D1 college basketball. Join us for 20 basketball games over four days in one location. Be there as we crown the 2023 Conference USA Champions with bids to the NCAA Tournament. For tickets, visit your CUSA team box office or go to conferenceusa.com slash hoops at the Star. Don't miss. UAB and FIU in a three-point game in Miami. 19-16 our score as Arturo Dean having a conversation here with our official. AJ Ricketts alongside Corey Brooks. Glad to have you with us on ESPN Plus this evening. Rick Crawford, Chris Hudson, Nomi Katawi, our officials, by the way, out of the timeouts. Quick three, open three. Three Panthers getting up for the rebound. That's what Jeremy Ballard wants to see. Jones somehow got the shot off, fighting for his own rebound. And gets it back out to Guadarrama. Good job to not go back up with that. It's the natural temptation, but Jemison would have sent it into the third row. Guadarrama fouled. With the shove. Third team foul on UAB. All things considered, partner, I think FIU would be happy to know they're within three here, shooting 27% from the field, two of 11 from distance right now. They're getting to the paint at times as well, though, which is counter that. They are always going to look at their defensive numbers first. That game in the 60s a few days ago is a signature FIU style, and it's how they're going to win ball games in CUSA this year. 
Jones doubled, lost it. Buffins by himself, going up and slams it in for two. Those are the kind of turnovers that FIU was able to limit on Thursday. Those line ball. Sonogo inside, looking to respond. Count it. Good Great response. patience by Mo Sonogo. He waits. You could hear Buffin smack the backboard. He went up too early. Sonogo wait till he's coming down, rises up in his own right, and an and one for the young FIU big. So that's the second on Jemison. Walker will head to the bench. Jemison as well. Javion Davis comes on. Just waiting for it right there. And that's one of the last things to come for a youngster, but Sonogo growing up so quickly with a ton of minutes. Too strong on the free throw. And I don't think there are too many teams in CUSA that have a big man combo the likes of Jemison and Davis, but you got a guy who's coming off a huge one against FAU. Three from the corner, Ladarius Brewer from the outside. UAB is three of seven from distance thus far. Largest lead of the game for the Blazers. So they bring that extended zone pressure and then give it away. Eric Gaines lays it in. Eight point advantage UAB. That felt like a quick turn of events. This is a team that hits the accelerator quickly and throughout the course of a game. You need to be able to have a counter punch on defense, but particularly on offense. The Owls did and that's why they won the game. 11 first half turnovers. So far for FIU. And Dean's already been swatted twice in the paint here today. Now we'll take a three. Can't connect. Buffing the weak side rebound. He would be daring Dean to shoot yeah. there. Blazers executing the scout. The youngster hasn't quite developed that weapon in his arsenal just yet. They go inside. Davis spinning on Sonogo, what a finish. Crafty footwork, 10 point lead for the Blazers. Timeout will be taken by Jeremy Baller here. I think they actually, he said zero. That was Nick who called it. Okay. And that's a, a luxury given to very few point guards in this league. Normally it's the coach and the coach only who can call timeouts, but they let Guadarrama call it, and because they trust him. You know, he's been there, and he understands exactly what goes into a game. So he saw something he didn't like. He understood that they needed to take a moment. The pace getting a little too far ahead for FIU. And it's a good job by Nick knowing that UAB wants to speed you up. They love to play games that winds up in the 80s and 90s, because it's usually them way out in front with those numbers. Panthers were down by nine against Charlotte in the first half. And ended up tying it with 33 going into the locker room. Right now for the Blazers partner, it's a 7-0 spurt over the last minute and seven seconds. And it's just the physicality that is withering down FIU in the half court. And they just have two answers right now that FIU does not know how to deal with. And 55 and zero, the two big guys stand underneath the basket. So for the Panthers, it involves double teaming. The issue is the depth of this UAB team. You put two in the post, they'll kill you. Jones splits a double. It's a good shot and sinks it out of the timeout, eight point game. If you would have told FIU 15 minutes into the game, Jordan Walker would have three points. Yeah. That, you'd be thinking we're in pretty good shape. It's the bigs for the Blazers getting a lot of the work done. And Davis, another bucket underneath, lead back to 10. That's what, six dunks now or so for UAB. They are just getting quickly to the basket. Trapping pressure is causing problems. Another giveaway. Johnson, the only freshman on this roster. Scoop shot. Wow. Good. That from Butta Johnson. Averaging five and a half per game this year. The freshman out of Huntsville. 32 20. Explosive take right there. Had two on him and it didn't matter. Just navigates it, uses his body to shield the basketball away from the 7 1 Pinckney. Just like a dangerous point of the game right now for FIU. Here's Johnson with the lay-in. 34-20. FIU looks out of all sorts of rhythm offensively. Had a whistle here. Was that a... I'll get an explanation here. Uh, warning on uh, mm -hmm. 
Eric Gaines there. Yep. Yep. 13-2 UAB run. Not a technical, just a warning there. Dean. Nearly lost it. Finds Hawkins. Probably desperately needs a bucket. Giddens can't get him at there. Dean tips it to Kravakapic. And I thought he will take a trip to the line in any sort of fashion. And out of the flow of the offense, but Deshaun Giddens will have a pair at the stripe when we return. UAB running and dunking all over FIU right now, up 14 on the road. 34-20 our score at the under four. FIU trying to hang around in this one. All sorts of issues against this extended UAB trapping pressure. UAB with 15 points off 13 FIU turnovers. The Blazers have hit their last seven shots. And it's a 13-2 run for UAB. AJ Ricketts, Corey Brooks, Deshaun Giddens at the line for two. Get on the first here. Jones will come in for Giddens if he hits the next free throw. We were talking about it during the break. UAB was off to a sloppy start, taking Very. care of the basketball themselves. But after they hit that seventh turnover around the 12 minute mark, they, they've taken great care of the basketball since then. Didn't give up a single one. And look, it helps when you get the ball at half court and you only need to go halfway home to be able to finish. You're probably not turning the ball over in that spot. You might miss the shot, worst case scenario. So defense certainly aiding the offense. But you saw kind of the light switch on for UAB, and everything in this game has responded accordingly. Darius Brewer, the lone player in double figures for UAB with 10. Here's a three from the corner, knocks another one down. Brewer has 13. UAB is rolling. They're happy to have him back, man. He's been an important part of this offense. Dean fouled. 16th foul on UAB, so that'll put FIU at the line now in the bonus on the next foul. So a chance for FIU to attack with the clock stop. That's always valuable. The problem is running inside trying to draw a foul can be a recipe for disaster against this Blazer team. Got Gaines extend the pressure. Provoca pitch evaded at that time. Seven to shoot. Jones well beyond the perimeter. Three seconds. Pinkney set him a screen. Jones has to hoist one up. Not a bad effort. Still missed the front rim. FIU is 2 of 14 from beyond the arc tonight. Useful screen set by set there. Created a bit of a corner. The problem was that UAB was all over it. Jones got two easy ones there after the steal. 37-24. UAB has hit its last eight shots from the field, shooting 61% here in the first half, a blistering pace. And they're a ruthless efficiency team pretty much every game. Buffin mid-range, tried to go off the window. Rakopich settles. Finally going the other way. Panthers continuing to be aggressive early on in the half-court sets defensively, need to be. Jones will get to the line. Clock will stop. And they'll draw the foul on JB and Javion Davis. Denver Jones on Thursday came out with 14 first half points as we uh, I think we're about to go to high, yep, uh, highlights from uh, last year. Jordan Walker and UAB blitzed FIU in the second half. It was a 38-34 game in Bartow Arena at the half last year before Walker put up a 20 spot. UAB outscored FIU in the second half of that game, 48 to 22. It was six of 17 from the field in that game, which is fine, under his average. So theoretically, you want to credit FIU a little bit. And they're doing something very similar here, where they've keyed on him. Mission number one, largely accomplished. The problem is there is just too many weapons in the arsenal right now for UAB. Panthers trying to chip away, though. Important final two-plus minutes here. Brewer's the leading scorer tonight for the Blazers. Says a lot about Walker that 6 or 17 is just okay. In the college game, most players would take that. Underneath, Jemison, hook shot. Beautifully done. And 
That is battle hardened through years of work. He's practiced that move against air, against family, does not matter, executed perfectly. Hawkins will let it go from the top of the key and knocks it down. Oh, no, that's, the, that's the first time since very early in this game FIU has connected from the outside. And it's their last 10 from distance, 39-29. The non-Denver Jones three. It's got to come from somebody for FIU to be competitive. Javante Hawkins as likely as anyone. Walker still sitting at three points. Brewer driving over Pinckney, nearly converted. Out of play to FIU. How has FIU been able to hold Walker in checks thus far in the first half? They've thrown their entire defense at him, and it can be an effective strategy. The issue is you let everyone else go crazy. But you've got to give FIU credit because if you let Walker go off, nothing else matters. You're already down by a ton. He's got his way to another 25-30. So you had to do exactly this. Ten points at the half or so is still well within striking distance. FIU has to feel they can take cleaner care of the basketball. It can be in contention in this one. Jones feels he has a mismatch, drives, and finishes. Denver Jones has 15 first-half points and is keeping FIU in this. Brewer feeling it. Not that time, Sonogo the rebound. And FIU can essentially hold for the final shot here. They have taken a timeout here in the first half, so Jeremy Ballard probably will not use one here. Probably want it to be Denver Jones. He's had to do a lot of work in this half, coming off of 38 minutes a few days ago. Busy man. Dean, step back on Walker. Seven seconds to work with now for the Blazers. Walker across the timeline. Three. Trying to get the shot off. He will not stand defensively from FIU to end the half. Back and forth at breakneck pace over the course of the first 20 minutes. Andy Kennedy's UAB squad has a 39-31 lead heading into the locker room. It's Conference USA Basketball on ESPN Plus. Much more coming up. AJ Ricketts here on ESPN Plus. An eight-point advantage for UAB, who shot 56% from the field, four of nine from distance. Only got to the line twice in that first half. FIU is six of seven at the strike. The three of 15 from distance, a 35% shooting clip in 13 first half turnovers. It, it's an eight point advantage for UAB. It feels like it could have been much more. No doubt. There was a moment there. UAB had gotten seven shots to fall in a row. They were turning FIU over regularly, double digit lead. Panthers withstood it. You look at the offensive numbers for FIU, 62 on pace for, would be exactly the same as the Charlotte game. This UAB team a little more offensively game. 24 points in the paint for the Blazers. Yeah. 10 bench points as well. Here we go, second half. Blazers and the Panthers here in Miami. It'll be interesting to see the defensive adjustment from Jeremy Ballard and FIU. First half goal was deny threes and mid-range. They focus more on the paint. Jones had 15 in that first half. Guadarrama will fire. Can't hit. Rebound to Gaines. Slicing across the paint. Mid-range, jumper, true. Brewer continues his torrid pace now with 15 himself. It's a great job by Gaines. Dribble drive, penetration, defense, collapses, extra pass. A regular affair for the Blazers. Dean on Walker, foul. Jelly gets his first foul. Had some help side defense coming with Jemison there, and Arturo's got to be careful. He tried to attack very all in the first half, and 55 right there to meet him. Dean, and we'll get it into Sonogo. Good recovery from Buffin there. Guadarrama thought he had a lane. Nine to shoot. Backdoor cut, Dean rejected. <laughs> Jemison didn't even leave the floor. That's high level. Exactly what we saw in the first half. He's just a wall down there, man. You've got to either draw him out or work around him. Andy Kennedy showed some frustration after Gaines passed nearly, was turned over. Buffin 
fighting for the rebound. Jemison had a tip, and Sonogo able to haul it in. And you've seen Mo Sonogo with a couple of plays against Jemison. He's found a way to navigate some success. Need it regularly. What a reverse from Dean. A great first step. Draws the foul on Gaines and the bucket. When we talk about one of the best ways to deal with Jemison is just keep him outside the paint. That turns into a mano a mano iso situation, and the freshman Arturo Dean shows why Coach Ballard brought him here in the first place. That's Dean's first field goal today. He has struggled, was 0 for 6 before that. And well off on the free throw. Yeah, it's a different game. This is probably the best center, certainly the best defensive center that he's seen in his young career. And that requires adjustments that are a lot for a young player. Buffin across the lane. Sonogo another board. He has four rebounds now. 41-33. Hit it inside to Sonogo. Dean. And got the roll. Arturo Dean starting to assert himself offensively. Giving some offensive support to Denver Jones. You need two scorers. Can't just key on one. Denver's going to do a lot of really good things for FIU. And so far, it's Arturo Dean. Walker hunting his shot. Finds Jemison. Bullying his way underneath. Count it. Jemison will go to the line. Active ball denial is required by FIU. Jemison catches the ball in that spot. It's going to be a minimum of two free throws, and the most likely scenario is exactly what happened. FIU running Walker off the three-point line. But he's getting it done as a distributor. Three assists now today. As Jemison connects on the free throw. 61% of the strike this year. A good looking stroke right there. 6'11, 260. It's a lot to deal with. FAU did a nice job and they kept him off the floor. Played 19 minutes. That is season low. He's already at about 14 in this game. So even with the foul trouble, he's found a way to be very successful. And Davis has three at the moment. Mayu breaks the pressure there. Largest lead for the Blazers was 15. Giddens fouled by Walker. That's the second on number 10. And a couple in short order. You're seeing a commitment to attacking Jelly Walker. And it's not a bad idea. One more and all of a sudden the offensive complexion completely changes for the Blazers. Such a fun player to watch in that yeah. South Carolina game. He scored the first 10 points, mm -hmm. including on a and one on a, a three-point attempt. Sweet. Two SEC wins yep. for UAB. Giddens had a good back cut, but couldn't bring it in on the sharp pass from Guadarrama as FIU turns it over for the first time here in the second half. And this Blazer team almost feels like an SEC team. They've got a lot of guys from the Southeastern Conference, extremely familiar with the likes of Georgia and South Carolina and they save some of their best basketball for their former conference mates. They are extremely comfortable playing anybody. Would not be surprised that they match up again with FAU come some point of the postseason. Yep. Jemison over Jones. That's just too easy. Not a matchup FIU wanted to see there. The Blazers continue to get it done in the paint. Back to a double-digit advantage. Guadarrama get going. Hook shot, short. Wasn't a bad look. He connect no. on those with regularity, not that time, though. And Nick's going to have a physical advantage on most guards he meets up with. That's one of the strongest elements of his game, buffing with him every step. Brewer, no. Follows his shot. Falling down, got it to Walker. Gaines will drive. Gaines will finish. And one. The lead extended to 13. They make it look so easy, don't they? Just a catch there right in the corner. He could take the shot. Defense knows that, so they take one step up. And the second he sees that leverage shift, he just glides to the basket, goes up there, and converts easily. It's a different type of athlete to be able to make that play, that sudden start ability, 
it's uncommon in the college game. Brewer, Brewer falling down and tapping it to Walker. That, yeah. that initiated that sequence there. Yep. The presence of mind. One of the reasons that Andy Kennedy went to the portal. Emphasized playing time. You know, these are not guys come from the SEC averaging a minute a game. You know, they regularly played for their teams at the SEC level. That experience makes a huge difference. No doubt. Uh, adventurous here for FIU. Guadarrama connects from distance. His second triple tonight. Well, he had really been struggling with his shot. It was 0 of 5 against Charlotte. 22% from distance this year. Seeing a couple go through the net tonight. Extreme confidence and unbelievably important going forward, even if FIU doesn't win. Hook shot again. Jemison at will, it feels. He's in double figures with 11. He's got different moves, man. He can bully you. He can finesse you. Guadarrama, another. There you go. Back to back for Nick Guadarrama. FIU trying to hang out around again. They've hit four of their last five shots. Problem is, so have the Blazers. Andy Kennedy urging his guys to come up and contest Guadarrama. He's found his own. Oh, Gaines nearly crafty, but the finish on the putback by Ty Brewer. Timeout on the floor. UAB looks in a verb offensively. A 12-point advantage, 15-11 to play in Miami. Starting to really give it to FIU here. 11 points. He's into double figures. Bigs for UAB causing problems. Jemison, a, really a leader in the Birmingham community, a community ambassador for his 23rd birthday recently, organized a, a community worship service as well. And uh, you, know, you know what he did, though, after the, uh, the New Year's Eve win against UTSA, his New Year's Eve festivity? Hmm. Went straight to a Jason Aldean concert. There you go. <laughs> That's how you can celebrate it. Uh, tonight is his kind of party right now, but Guadalajara is <laughs> trying to lead FIU back into the proceedings here. 53-44, three straight triples for Guadarrama. Yeah, and that was the conversation for Andy Kennedy in the timeout. He was furious going into that break. He's the one who called it, urging his guys to contest on the three-point line, and Guadarrama nearly again. Back to single digits. And this is so big for FIU. What a foul on the reach on Jones. It's a Panther team that hasn't been fully able to integrate their newcomers yet, largely due to injury, but Nick's kind of working through the sight lines here, adjusting to the speed of the game and what Jeremy Ballard wants to do. But this could be the breakout game for one of the more important players on this FIU team. Guadarrama with four three-pointers tonight. He's had four combined in his last seven games. Maybe this will be what gets the veteran going. His first double-figure game of the season, he has 12. We're at a media timeout, 53-44, back after this. Fourteen thirty-three left to go here in Miami. Glad to have you with us on uh, ESPN Plus. A.J. Ricketts alongside Corey Brooks and Nick Guadarrama trying to help guide FIU back into this one. Still FIU with its work cut out for him. And it, you have to feel at some point Jordan Walker is going to start getting his. Just three points on three shots thus far. Defense doing a really nice job, but Dean read the lob. Gaines couldn't finish. Gets it right back. He's all alone. He'll take it. Not that time. Rebound to Dean. Fayou sets up the offense. They lob to Pinckney. And the flush. Dean to Pinckney has been a connection on the pick and roll game throughout the year. FIU gets it to seven. Set so comfortable on that lob, has the obvious advantage at 7-1. Brewer for two. Guadarrama almost pokes that away. It bounced to Ty Brewer. Just so deliberate on offense. Once they see something, do these Blazers, they attack quickly. Arturo Ooh. Dean gets the bucket right back, driving to the rim. All of Dean's field goals coming in the second half here now has six. And they've all come with Jemison off the floor. Gaines. Good pass. What a finish. Ty Brewer. Athleticism on display. That is an absolutely absurd play. 
And just again, make it look so simple. It is anything but a special group of athletes for UAB. Just hanging in midair, finishing the play. Kravakovic has been held in check tonight. Tend to shoot. Guadarrama, long two. He yes. Mm. Guadarrama has a season high 14. You hit the heat check, that means you're on fire. Monumental for FIU. Their defense is a given. That's where they pride themselves. The question is, where are the points going to come from? And the guy from up in the Northeast taking it now down south. Gaines off glass. UAB with the response for every FIU bucket. FIU can't afford to trade. But they're going to work their way back in. Pickney picked up his dribble. Poor pass. It's Brewer, and he finishes. A tough sequence there for Seth Pickney, the giveaway and the foul. And Sonogo will come in for him immediately. And challenging there too for Seth because at the onset, it's a little bit similar to what we saw a few days ago where Seth Pickney gets a chase down block to win the game. And this time, not that. He, he was just losing leverage there and commits a foul that didn't need to happen. Is a back-breaking sequence for FIU, who, who's hit its last six shots. Four of those coming from Guadarrama. That's what UAB will do, though. They're going to put you in uncomfortable positions, forcing you to make a judgment call. Brewer now has nine. Both these teams have combined to hit their last ten from the field. Jones, a little crossover. Can't hit from the elbow. Gaines. Accelerating and finishing. Eric Gaines shifting gears. FIU coach is arguing he picked up that dribble early. It's tough to tell. His stride length unbelievably long once he gets rolling. Jones tried to get creative. Lost it on the behind the back dribble. Brewer over Sonogo. No. Oh. Ravaka pitch sprints ahead. No numbers for the Panthers. Giddens retreats. Boy, this was just a seven-point game. UAB with a 14-point edge. Jones is open. There's three. Timeout, Jeremy Ballard. Maybe a wise one as well. Sensing that UAB had just gone on a 7-0 run. We'll call it CO, which will send us to break as well. 64-53, under 12 to play. 53, our score, 11-21 left to play. Welcome back to the Ocean Bank Convocation Center. Uh, UAB wearing, uh, we like to send our condolences to the UAB family as well. The team wearing T-shirts, warm-up T-shirts tonight, saying reunited, the first lady of UF UAB Athletics, Ruth and Jean Barto. Of course, Jean Barto was known as the father of, F of UAB athletics. Uh, Ruth recently passed away on New Year's Day at home surrounded by family. She was 91 years old. The Bartow family synonymous with UAB. So our condolences certainly to the UAB athletics family as this one goes out of play. Yeah, it's a UAB athletics program unique in its story, right? Certainly recently, and it, a foundation that was laid that was necessary to preserve athletics at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. And that's really where it started. And uh, athletics is off to a kind of a tough year to start here. A lot of tough stories, but a lot of uplifting ones as well here in the first few days of 2023. Gene Barto was the head coach for 18 seasons at UAB. It's Jones front rims here. Rebounds corralled by Well, We haven't seen that much tonight. Taven Lovin. He's been at UAB seemingly forever. Yeah. Jemison, one on one. Can't connect. Rebounds to Giddens. 64 53. This is still in striking distance for FIU. Sonogo in good position. Swirls it through the bucket. Both ends of the floor. That was outstanding by Mohamed Sonogo. Stays with Jemison step for step, doesn't let him go to that back shoulder move, and then wins the race down the floor, provides an easy outlet. Here's Walker. Oh, it was halfway through the cylinder. 
And he still remains at three points. Just his fourth shot of the evening. That one looks good off the hands. Sonogo with another rebound as well. This is an exhausting few minutes for the youngster, but they need him. Guadarrama, heat check! Four consecutive triples for Nick Guadarrama. That's a six-point game. Panthers have hit eight of their last ten. Brewer to respond. No. Back to Walker. Takes a step in for two. And another one pops out. But a third chance. Walker forces one up. Missed it well short that time. And a foul Ooh. is going to be away from the basketball on Jemison. Well, that's just his third, though, not four. Third is still when you start paying attention, though, especially when it's one like that, where it's way off the ball and completely needless. Certainly frustrating for Andy Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a hug to the official here. I, I think they're still going to take a look at if this is more than just a common foul. <laughs> Indication was it was that he threw the elbow on the back side there. And so we go to the review monitor. Both teams stand at four fouls, and both teams with two timeouts remaining. If they, if they take a look here, it was, it was on the opposite side of the court from where the ball was. Boy, how many opportunities did, did UAB have there? They're being out-rebounded today, 29-25, but a pair of them on that possession. And you, you, you sense they're... That's a shot Walker has taken, he can make, but maybe a bit frustrated with the course of events today. UAB has operated with a mm -hmm. better shot selection than maybe that particular one there. And you always look at the efficiency, and it necessarily, early on, he was plenty of fish. He just wasn't shooting. The defense keyed on him, they didn't need him. But now you start to see that percentage fall away. I imagine you'll see him attack now more. One for six from the field, three points. Doesn't look like it's anything more than a common foul here. Pretty quick, quick review. It's an 8-0 run for FIU, who's hit nine of their last 11 shots and getting it done defensively as well. UAB has not scored in nearly three minutes. It is very much a ball game. Hawkins, look at the hedge there from Jemison. FIU find an advantage. Giddens. Bounce pass, Sinogo took him some time to recover the basketball. Has the outlet to Jones here, eight to shoot. Jones to Guadarrama screen, got downhill, floater, no. Sinogo, and then the putback from Jones. <laughs> FIU can make it a one possession game with a free throw here. Denver Jones, relatively quiet in half two. He was pooling his energy, waiting for the moment to attack. And there amidst the crowd, Jemison flying back and forth from the arc to underneath. They find the chance. Denver Jones delivering at the critical moment for FIU. Well, that was probably one of his more open shots of the evening. The floater right before that, <laughs> almost too open perhaps. After it was pinballed around. Jones takes contact, and now a chance to make it a three-point game, which he does. One of the best free throw shooters in the country at 87%. It's an 11-0 run for FIU, who's cut it from 15 to three. Gaines, drive and kick. Walker, guarded by the freshman, taking him on. Oh, and the, what a stand from Deshaun Giddens. Up the floor, Giddens, a determined drive, will go to the line. Entire FIU bench on its feet, 64-61. What, what has sparked this run? No doubt. It's been a lot of things. It's the ability to turn this group over. We saw it early on in the first half. FIU hung around. 
created chances with turnovers. They have done so once again here. UAB was so careful with the basketball early on in this half, they would go minutes at a time without even sniffing a turnover. Now FIU getting a few, being able to get it going, and the offense from Nick Guadarrama opens everything up for the Panthers. It's a completely different offensive game. Giddens has struggled at the line this season, under 60%, but knocks the first one down. Fahey turned it over 13 times in the first half, just three second half turnovers thus far through nearly 12 minutes. One for two for Giddens. As much as the offense has gotten going, do not discount this defensive effort. Three no. and a half minutes now, scoreless. Gaines can't end the drought there, but will have a chance to at the free throw line. No, you have to give FIU defense a lot of props after getting battered early on underneath the basket. That, not the last one, but the possession before where Walker goes in one-on-one -on -one with the young Giddens and he's there every single step, goes straight up. That is a way that that guy hasn't been defended a whole lot this year. Here gains a 65% free throw shooter this season. First, Arturo Dean will re-enter. Ladarius Brewer back as well. As Jordan Walker will head to the bench with 8.22 remaining, most likely until the uh, opposite side of the media timeout, the under eight. Yeah, they'll keep him fresh and try and hit the accelerator late, but hey, you said it earlier, his season low is 15. He stands at three at the moment. His gains goes two for two, back to a two possession game. Says a lot about the FIU defensive presence throughout the course of this game. The identity of this Panther team is shown through. That ends the 12-0 run. Hawkins will let it fly. Knocks it down from long range. It's a one-point game. The three-point shot is the great equalizer. The Blazers dominated this game nearly from the word go. The oh, Panthers inside, Buffin responds. What a pass. Still trading a three for a two. If you're FIU, you're okay with it, but you need to shore up that interior defense. Guadarrama surveys. Got the pressure on the perimeter. Bounced inside, Dean missed it short. Giddens has possession. Scrum for the ball. That'll be a jump ball, and the arrow is with UAB. What an outstanding pass by Guadarrama there. Goes bounce, sends it right into the heart of the paint. Panthers can't finish. Okay, UAB so trying to find a way here. The intensity of Jeremy Ballard yeah. as we head to break. Three-point game in Miami. Found a way. Alongside Corey Brooks, A.J. Ricketts here with you. Now, UAB has turned up the defensive efficiency themselves now after that stretch where the Panthers hit 9 of 11. Missed their last couple, but UAB has missed six of their last seven as well. So Walker got all of a minute and a half's worth of rest. He's right back in. Three points. Gaines has been a playmaker. A whistle on the floor will be on FIU. That's on Hawkins, his first. His first sixth. Importantly, sixth. So both teams in the bonus now, partner. At the line is Gaines. Gaines will have two where he just connected at the stripe on a pair. 42 points in the paint tonight for UAB. The three-point shot has been the equalizer for FIU. Nine for 22 now. UAB 4 15. You could see it early on. We talked about it. They were getting really quality looks from three. They just were not going. I mean, basketball is a funny game that way. Where Kennedy um, looks on. Yep. A bit of apprehension at the way things have gone the last few minutes. He sensed it, though. Even when they were up 12, he was mad. He was calling timeout. He was urging his team to right. play defense. Yeah. Really good understanding of the game and where it can change quickly. We saw how quickly the Blazers pushed it from 7 to 14 a few minutes ago. Hawkins on the run, no. Jemison just tipped that over and threw it without looking. 
Dean recovered. Jones, open wing three. Skips off the rim, two Blazers battling each other, and then Gaines oh. stepped on the, oh, well, he traveled before he stepped on the inline. They just didn't recognize it was the same team. Yep, and that's emblematic of what's killed the Blazers in this game. The communication issues early on, we saw some passing leading to turnovers, and there it's two teammates battling for one basketball. A second chance here for the Panthers. Deflected into the backcourt. Jones. And give it off. Ten seconds to shoot. Hawkins looks to create against Buffin. Pinkney will set him a screen. Four on the shot clock. Hawkins hoists. No. Jemison this time brings it in himself. Set, set a hard edge, but this UAB team so multiple they can switch. Gaines, finger roll two. <laughs> Seven-point edge, and now it's FIU on the scoring drought of two-plus minutes. That and the Jemison dunk have been the go-to weapons for the Blazers. They have found the answer for Walker, not for Gaines. Gaines has 16. And Jones might have had an open shot, but dribbled off his heel. Tend to shoot. The Jemison hedge. Dean off his foot. And some emotion from Jemison after the turnover. The 6-0 spurred out of the timeout. Are not many centers on planet Earth who can come up from underneath, play a really fast point guard that way, and get the turnover. This guy's defense is unbelievable in Trey Jamison. The hard hedging on the perimeter has been so fun to watch. Yeah, he's, he's special, man. I mean, he's already gotten CUSA defensive honors in his career, cruising towards another. He is unique in this conference. He's fit in the league in blocks per game. That is, that is certainly not all he is known for. No. Gaines, wraparound pass. Another players on the floor. Walker three. No, but a foul on Guadarrama. Walker misfired, but will get to the strike for three. A costly foul on Nick Guadarrama as Jordan Walker the only free throw shooter in Conference USA with better numbers than Denver Jones. Walker's at 90%. Amazing how close those two are in everything, isn't it? You've got scorer one, scorer two, free throw master one and two. And it's been Jones with the upper hand in, in the scoring department today. Walker's looking to make some winning plays down the stretch. This is the free throw here. It, it might just be an uncharacteristic night for Jordan Jelly Walker. Or it's the hypno wheel. You decide. <laughs> Who does that as well? Wake Forest, known for that little yep. hypnotizing wheel behind the basket. Mm -hmm. Andy Kennedy encouraging his team here. Yeah, 66 for 73 entering tonight. And he goes two for three at the strike. Yeah, you kind of had a feeling after he missed one, the other two were guarantees. It was a one point game. It's an 8-0 run for UAB to stretch it to nine. FIU have one more run left in the tank. Walker giving Dean some space. He drove right by him. And one! Arturo Dean. <laughs> Panthers needed that in the worst way. No doubt about it. And it had really been a binary today. Is Jemison in the paint? Dean can't do anything. If he's outside the area or not in the game, Dean has had free reign underneath the basket. Dean struggled to start this game, was 0 for 6 at one juncture. He's now 4 for 11 with eight points. And he makes it nine. You're seeing a new player figuring it out in real time. It's easier said than done. You know, FIU will extend the pressure themselves a little bit here. It ends on gains. will take it near midcourt. One of six from the field today. Splits those two Panthers into the corner. Uh, overshot Buffin, who was cutting to the rim. I think Walker thought he was spotting up in the corner. The turnover on Walker is his sixth of the game. Andy Kennedy just shakes his head. Plenty of communication time and practice going forward directly as a result of the FAU game and FIU. 
because that was there. Trey Jemison set a monster screen just inside the arc. Functionally five on four, but the pass was too wide. Four and a half to play. Foul away from the basketball. That'll be on Johnson, the lone UAB freshman. And that'll put Denver Jones at the free throw line. That's the best possible sentence for the FIU Panthers at this point. All sorts of UAB connections with uh, the look at you go beyond the uh, the stat sheet here Johnson who just committed the foul his dad coached his teammates dad Tony Tony's mm -hmm. father at Grissom High School in Huntsville as Jones connects on the free throw he's the first D1 scholarship recipient out of Grissom since uh, in about 22 years or so, so rep go. representing Huntsville and one of the few players not from the transfer portal as right. well on Andy Kennedy's roster Jones to make it a four-point game. It was two for two at the strike. So a 5-0 run for FIU to counter the 8-0 UAB spurt. Walker sprints to the corner to retrieve it from Johnson. 74-70, buckle up. What kind of finish do we have in store here? Went down to the wire in both these two teams' games on Thursday. Johnson, elbow, yes! Look at the freshman making a play late here. Bouncing right back, gets the foul on the other end, does not let it deter him one bit. How about the both freshmen we've seen in this game, man? Really fun to watch. Arturo Dean goes to Guadarrama. Backdoor cut, Jones. Oh, got it to go. Jamison right there in his grill. Tough, tough shot but FIU needs Denver Jones to hit the tough shots. Gains in transition has been effective. Walker, three, airballed it. And a good box out from Giddens as Jemison was trying to track it down. It has not been Jordan Walker's night. His teammates have picked up the pace, but FIU will have an opportunity in the final 323. A great game in Miami tonight. To the Ocean Bank Convocation Center. 76-72, our score here on ESPN Plus, along with Corey Brooks, AJ Ricketts on hand. This is coming down to the wire here. Jordan Walker airballed that last three. They'll find you a chance to make it a one possession game. Blazers 0 of 7 from downtown in the second half. Panthers have lit it up from that exact same distance. It's giving them a chance. Jones on the back door, and a foul call. Well, give credit to these FIU players on the perimeter. It was Snowgo the last possession. Mm. Hitting Jones on these backdoor cuts, it, it, hasn't, it isn't as if he's had all sorts of space to work with on the cut. They're hitting us their spots. No, in fact, very little. This UAB team just has so much length. We've seen it alter the game. That huge UAB run about eight minutes ago in the first half was because they were just ripping the ball away constantly with their length. Denver, though, so gifted at finding the crevices in those defense. They're not big, but they're enough for DJ. Eight of eight at the line tonight is Denver Jones. FIU as a team, 12 for 15. It's a team that struggled at the stripe this year, just 64%. Much better numbers tonight, 80-plus percent, two-point game. Maybe had extended it back out to nine. And FIU has shown some fight this week. Gaines trying to turn the corner on Dean. Sonogo comes and helps out. Mohamed well, Sonogo has had a sensational effort tonight. Eight yeah. points, five rebounds, and a block and three assists as well for the big fella. And he had seen enough of that. Gaines consistently getting to the basket. Sonogo waits. Walker stepped on the sideline. The seventh turnover of the game. This has been a wow. tough road trip for the leading scorer in Conference USA. In Boca, now in Miami. He had 20 on Thursday. There's three so far. Guadarrama. I thought you can take the lead on this possession here. Backing down. 
Guadarrama lost it. Great strip there from Brewer. That's something they haven't tried very much. Here's Guadarrama Gaines. iso. So McKinnon's nearly had the steal. It did well to slow Gaines, who has been loving getting downhill today. Yeah. Walker stolen. Jones one-on-one. -on -one. Buff in the trailer. Rejects it. Guadarrama, the follow. FIU has fought back from a 15-point deficit. It's tied at 76. That's why you need veterans. They don't give up on the play. They're in the right place. The welcoming ceremony to Miami for the transfer, Nick Guadarrama, against the reigning conference champs. The FIU coaching staff storming out to midcourt, showing their emotion to the players as they walk back. It's a 6-0 run over the last 90 seconds. With 2.03 left to play. And on paper, heading into this game, certainly UAB with the, the clear favorite. Yeah. Whether it's just the, the win and the win and loss column or the advanced metrics coming into this game, UAB sat at number 57, third highest ranked team in Conference USA. But it, it's kind of felt this week on the flip side for FIU, like a season defining week. They, Hold on against Charlotte, a team that entered 11 and three. You see the replay, Guadarrama finishes. Yeah. Monster block on the front end, a monster block. But Nick was where he needed to be, but you're right. Those games decided in the margins late can give you a ton of confidence. And it's such a young FIU team, confidence is amplified. The lows can be too. Youngsters don't know how to be quite in the middle, but when you're up, you're up. And that's the case for FIU. Where does Andy Kennedy look for offense here? In transition, it's been gained so often today. Obviously, Jemison has been terrific underneath, 11 points for him. That's where it is. Brewer was the star of the first half. He stands with 15 points. Do you, do you try to see if Walker can get something going later? How do you evaluate this late? If I'm Andy Kennedy, I am playing old school basketball. You forget the three-point line exists. Throw it into your Wilt Chamberlain underneath. Let him do his thing. Back down, power ball. Sonogo's done a really nice job on balance, particularly against that opponent. But 55 has the advantage. Two minutes remain as Giddens deflects it out of play. Disrupting the set. Walker was trying to come off a curl. Blazers haven't scored in two minutes. Jemison wants it, Sinogo fronting. And Giddens has raised the level of his individual defense here. Gaines trying to drive on him. Got a step and a foul, nearly put it in on the rainbow. And Gaines has been getting to the line here in the second half. We'll have a pair of free throws. That's all it takes. You called it perfectly, AJ. He got one step, and that little bit is enough to force the contact. It's a good foul. You deny him what probably would have been a good two easily if you don't have that hard smack, but just such a quick player. Gaines ah. off on the free throw. He had been six of seven at the line before that for the 65% free throw shooter. Yeah, UAB faithful. Didn't like the gym up in Boca, and they're not going to like it here either, especially on this end. Much better looking attempts there. Blazers back out in front. A narrow one-point edge. Nine fouls on UAB. Physicality can be the ally of FIU. Guadarrama's had a hot second half hand. Instead, it's Dean floating it up. Missed it. Bounced off the heel. Jemison came over to try to influence the shot. That's a tough take. And Jemison got there, but late. You have to be okay with that. The way Arturo's attacked today. Frustrating for FIU, but it's a quality take. Gaines trying to take the freshman off the dribble. Held his own, but then ended up with an open two. Missed it. Guadarrama the board. And he wanted to outlet that ball quickly, but knew that that might lead to something dangerous. Smart play by the veteran. One minute to play in Miami. Guadarrama's been brilliant. There's no question about it. Is that where you go now? Dean at the free throw line. Reverse, Dean got it, got it to go. FIU has its first lead since the 16-24 mark of the first half. That's the first time he's beaten Jemison off the dribble. Just got him to bite one step in, goes to it. Arturo Dean making his argument for freshman of the year right now at CUSA. 
78-77. No fear. He had just missed the shot on the no. previous possession, attacking the basket. And UAB will call timeout here. It's final timeout. So no more left for Andy Kennedy. FIU leads 78-77, 37.6 left on the clock. What's important here on this possession for the Blazers? Get the ball down low. Post touches open up everything. It doesn't have to be a final shot in the post, but you need at least one look in there, work it back out. It's inside out basketball right now for UAB. While also understanding taking care of the ball is critical. It's been the Achilles heel for UAB throughout the majority of this game. They've gone to gains on the yeah. last two possessions. Who's created really himself off the dribble. Dean's had his number. This is the best three or four minutes that Arturo Dean has had in his young career here at FIU. That's 11 points tonight. No timeouts left for UAB. FIU still with two remaining. Blazers are in the bonus as well with the Panthers at 18 fouls. Yeah. Deshaun Giddens is playing with four personal. They may just go Walker and have him go straight. They give it to Gaines. Now Buffin with it. Jamison calling underneath. Walker wins up with it. Walker, step back. No. Giddens the rebound. Up the floor. Dean, he'll take the two. Foul. He'll have two shots. That is such a tough play for a freshman to make. You've got an unbelievable athlete who chases you down from behind, is going up, but you know he's going to go up. Wait that extra second, and two free throws the result. What a segment from Arturo Dean. One of two at the line today. He has two shots. Knocks down the first. UAB has been held without a field goal for nearly four minutes down the stretch here. Unbelievable defense. They forced that one. The leading scorer in CUSA, and he took a poor shot. One for two. Mm -hmm. No timeouts left for UAB. They can take the final shot here. Here's the thing with Walker, though. He missed that one. He's just his game if needed. Ten seconds to play. Gaines driving to the rim, over two Panthers. Rebound, put back, no, the tip is good! Jamison, four seconds to play. Dean up the floor, one second for the win! No, overtime! What a finish, Jamison the tip. And UAB forces an extra five minutes. Wow. Unreal. And, and it's fitting for this game that it was a flurry there at the net. One by Jemison, who's been so good underneath. And the other side, Arturo Dean very nearly had his signature shot. 79 all. Overtime approaching. And Jemison, the, the hero on that final possession. It was a, it was a great a defensive stand by the Panthers. Yeah. It was a contested shot over about three black jerseys. But that allowed UAB's bigs to crash the boards. They're forced overtime here, and Dean prob uh, probably a tad of regret with that missed free throw. But still, it's sure. been a sensational second half for the freshman. And if you're FIU, you say, would love to be in this position. Yeah. They were down by 15 points at one juncture of this game. Against the reigning conference champions. And if you're Dean, you forget about that free throw. Obviously, that would have been the icing on the cake. You've got to win at this point. But he has been transcendent in this game. They're not in overtime without him. They went to him more and more as the game went on. And when you're consistently calling plays designed for a freshman, it says a whole lot about what you think of that guy's ability to be successful in the critical moments. And on the flip side for UAB, they had a really tough time getting the ball to Trey throughout the entirety of the clutch moments in that second half. But when it came down to it, that ball sitting right on the precipice of the cylinder, he shows his strength, his guile, to go and put it away to force OT. I think FIU fans initially were hoping that perhaps was a basket interference of any sort. Yep. Not on the cylinder, a clean finish. And UAB 
Able to work itself into overtime. Well, look, it's, take, it's taken an exceptional FIU effort to work their way back into the game. They shoot 29% as a team from three-point range. They have nine of them today. Yeah. It's been around 40% for much of this game. Jordan Walker has had as uncharacteristic a game as he's had all season, but yep. now five more minutes to potentially make an impact. And that's the challenge now for this young FIU team. You hit the high, you made it to overtime, you fought all the way back, but now you've got to sum it up something even more against a team that will punish any mistake you make over the next five minutes. You need to play a nearly perfect game against the reigning champs, but so far, you give FIU a lot of credit. They have. Jordan Walker is not starting this overtime period. Andy Kennedy talks about it a lot. They need him to be efficient. Today, not so. One for eight from the field. Even still, surprising to see him on the bench to start this OT period. FIU with the first possession. But Jones was a little loose with the basketball taken away. Gaines hammers it home. That's that a way to start off overtime with some momentum. Monster dunk. Wow. Gaines has been absolutely sensational. Yep. Jones trying to get it back. Foul. We'll get two. Is that on Jemison? If it is, that's four. Sure yep. is. So Jemison has four. Giddens for FIU has four. And not a single stirring on the bench. That guy is too important. He will play until he fouls out or until overtime ends. Kennedy with his head in his hands right now. There's plenty of frustration on that UAB sideline. Jones yeah. has not missed at the stripe today. He's nine for nine. Make it 10 for 10. Denver Jones, 28 points. It's a career high. Did enough. He kept him in striking distance. Down the stretch, it was Guadarrama and Arturo Dean. But Denver Jones, once again, the one who opened everything up. Previous career high, 26 in November against Stony Brook. He surpasses that today. He's nearing 30. Tied at 81. Jemison had to be careful on that screen. He knew it immediately. Put the hands up. Here's Johnson. For UAB, you got to play through gains here, you think. How much he's created. I'll tell you what, they tried that, though, at the end of the half. FIU was game. Jemison bullying his way inside for two. That's who you want, because that right there is borderline unstoppable. Just said, I'm going to create off the dribble yep. right here. Impressive sequence. 83-81, Giddens goes to Guadarrama, corner three. No. Sonogo fighting for the board. Johnson winds up with it and fell. Whistle and a travel. A tough sequence there for UAB. They had the defensive stop. Just could not get that possession going the other way. That has been the type of day it's been for the Blazers. Execution not exactly perfect. Operating about 90%. That's still a really good basketball team out there. But FIU's taking advantage. D nearly gave it away. Giddens in the corner. Dean with the pump fake. Six to shoot. Dean will drive. A hand in his face. Three to shoot. Giddens has to get the shot off. Double pump. Missed, missed everything. That did not hit the rim. It's a shot clock violation. That's a sensational defensive series for UAB. No doubt. Ty Brewer hasn't played very much in this game. So he's probably got some fresh legs. They've leaned on him more down the stretch here these last few games anyway. He was step for step there. Are you surprised Walker remains on the bench? Trust your hot hands. You sure. know, he's had a tough day. He's had a tough road trip. Again, like you mentioned, 20 yesterday. But not his level of efficiency they expect. Sure. So now you trust the guys who have been there. That's how this game is. When you have this type of depth, you go with the guys that brought you here. Sonogo fronting Jemison. Buff and drives. Guadarrama tried to draw the charge. Sonogo with the block. Out of play. We'll stay with the Blazers. And the good thing about Jelly is he's not a guy who's going to pout while he's on the bench because he understands what it takes to win at this level. So at the next opportunity, he's going to be just as aggressive as he's been at any point in the year. There will not be many games of this nature for no. Jordan Walker. Ten to shoot. Jemison got inside for the slam. He's taking over this overtime period. Yep. 
four-point lead. They used him sparingly at the end of half two, which means he is offensively fresh. Dean got fouled. It's going to be two free throws. It's on Buffett. And just two on him. We think about that sequence at the end of the game. Dean was at the free throw line. FIU up two. Missed that second free throw. UAB able to take advantage at the rim. Now two more important free throws here for the FIU freshman. Palmley knocks down the first. 13 points, 5 of 13 from the field, 3 of 5 at the strike. With four assists, four rebounds, three steals as well to his tally. It's not just about the scoring. No, especially early on, it was those steals that were really impactful. One of two. That time the Blazers send two to the ball, only one needs to come away with the rebound. Zone look here from FIU defensively. Not seen that often today. Jemison going right through. It gives off to Buffin, who's met by Guadarrama. Was not going to give up an easy jam there. Going to force Buffin to earn it out of the line. No doubt. And they did everything right right there. They go into that zone to be able to effectively put two on Jemison because he had taken over. And you see, that's exactly what happens. They collapse on Jemison. But Buffin's been a really, really consistent player this year for UAB. He goes up strong and now shoots two. 76% free throw shooter. But on the first. FIU nearly stripped it away from Jemison as he was driving with the pure strength. Yeah. And sure that would not happen. After a two possession game. Up in two for two. Now whatever results from this game, Jeremy Ballard has figured something out with this FIU roster that's had its share of struggles this season. Of course, no team really wants the moral victory. Right. So no go. Got to the rim with authority. Mo Sanogo with the flush. Back to a one possession game. Mo Sanogo trying to rip down the backboard there. You do it to fire up your guys. See if he did. He's in double figures with 10. He's been great. Brewer throws it out of bounds. There's a disconnect there between him and Jemison. Trey Jemison has had to do a lot on defense in this game. And he's had a frustrating sequence there on both ends. Guadarrama back to Dean. He's all by himself. He has to shoot. Knocks it down! Arturo Dean, who is just 4 of 26 from three-point range entering this game, knocks down the triple. He was 0 for 2 tonight before that shot as well. They have dared him all game long to take that shot. And the freshman says, bet. What a game this has turned into. It felt like way through the second half this was all UAB they stretched the lead back out to 14 but FIU would not go away turned up the defense down the stretch held UAB without a field goal for the final 340 and with 115 left to play 87 all we'll take a quick break be right back after this three remaining what a wonderful college basketball game tonight yeah. here on ESPN Plus. A.J. Ricketts, Corey Brooks, it's had about everything you could ask No for. question. Uh, young players rising to the occasion, veterans doing their thing, 14-point comeback. FIU is fighting the defending Conference USA champions, trying to have a statement week yep. in South Florida. On the flip side for UAB in the critical moments, we talk about the horses that got you there. Jelly Walker's back. First action in this overtime period for Walker. Gaines, tough pass that Johnson able to handle. 12 to shoot as Gaines resets. Jemison will set a screen. Seven to shoot. Gaines, driving, fade away, floater, no. Scrum for the rebound, Jemison got it back. No good, Guadarrama the rebound. Well, those are the sequences that Jemison has been able to finish yep. all throughout this game. Not that time, and Jeremy Ballard will take a timeout. We talk about the uniqueness of Trey Jemison, but on the other side, Nick Guadarrama does not look like a point guard. Back after this, 42.3 left in Miami.
Oh, 42.3 left here in overtime. FIU and UAB. It's a little game reset here. Denver Jones currently on a game uh, career high, excuse me, 29 points. Has hit all 11 of his free throws. UAB with three players on the floor right now in double figures, led by Gaines with 19. Jemison has 17 on 8 of 12 shooting. Yeah. And KJ Buffin has 10. Reigning CUSA Player of the Year, Jordan Walker, had a tough night. Five points on one of eight shooting. He's one of five from distance. And will not be in the game after that timeout. Andy Kennedy subs him out. Offense, defense, sub here for Andy Kennedy. Here, Liam. A dangerous pass there from Dean to trigger it in. Jones back across the timeline. 15 to shoot for FIU. Out of the timeout here, what does Jeremy Ballard have drawn up? It's been all Arturo Dean. Eight seconds. Sonogo sets a screen. Dean got a switch. Driving. Lost the basketball. Out of play. It'll stay with FIU with one second left on the shot clock. Andy Kennedy wants a review. Got a timeout taken by FIU, and the officials may go to the monitor as well. I think they will do just that, take advantage of the chance. Panthers want to try and draw it up with one second left for a catch and shoot. It was an interesting play there by Arturo Dean with about seven to go on the shot clock. He was completely covered, absolutely nowhere to go. But he makes a really nice head fake and gets Ladarius Brewer off platform. That allowed the attacking angle, but just couldn't finish still, creating something from nothing, the freshman Arturo Dean. I don't know if we have another look at it. It looks real time. It might have perhaps been pushed out by Dean as he was trying to regain possession, but there certainly was a player or two in our line of sight, so hard to tell. Apologize for any technical difficulties here. 87 all, 20.3 left to go. UAB is out of timeouts. Officials taking a look right now. Yeah, they'll be careful with it. They'll take every possible moment, obviously understanding that the game potentially hangs in the balance. And if you're Andy Kennedy, you're obviously talking about the defense on a potential catch and shoot, but you're also getting ready to execute your offense on the other end. Review continues. Both teams will be sent back to the benches. If you're, a, if you're UAB, you get possession back. You're holding for the final shot, most likely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what they're talking about right now. Jeremy Ballard wouldn't be surprised. Oh, one second. It's hard, hard to know if it's a full second <laughs> or if it's points. There. And that's probably what they're looking at as well. Right. You know, see exactly not only who the ball is off of, which is paramount, but when it went out. And if there is additional time, if you're FIU, the difference between one and, say, even three is massive. All right, here we go. This might be a good look at it. Did that deflect off of Brewer at the end there? Looks kind of tough to tell. Again, officials are having a tough time with it, so I'd imagine it's not an easy call. Good job by a production team here. Yeah. It almost looks like there's a lot of contact on the arm, but if yeah. it's going straight off of who it's deflected off of, that might be off Dean. Yeah, it, it, in real time. I kind of thought it was off Brewer. Watching that, it looks like Arturo kind of pushes it through and out beyond the baseline. Well, that should be a real good look. Yeah, he definitely got him across the arm. Yeah, that's off Arturo. He just kind of loses the ball, and it goes out off of him. Now, you could argue there's a foul there, but that's not what's being reviewed at the moment. You certainly can't go back and call that a foul. No. I think the officials are seeing that the reason the ball went out of play was a hack across the arm. All right, what are we going to have here? Yeah, this is an interesting one. And a great job by our officiating crew tonight all throughout. It is going to be FIU basketball. FIU will have it with one second left on the shot clock. Yep, and it stays at one, so... Who's your catch and shoot guy? Normally Sonogo. Guadarrama inbounds. Oh, he threw it in the backcourt. Nobody touched it, though. That's a shock. That shouldn't be a violation. UAB could have gone out on the break there. 
the horn went off before anybody touched it. So they called a tip, and that's what led to the shot clock violation. Okay. Official on the far side, rubbing the hands together, calling a tip. That is a tough break for UAB. Now they're going to get the, the clock all sorted out. Yeah, with that being tipped, that, yeah, by, of course, by the rule, shot clock violation of UAB did not have possession before the buzzer went off. So, you know, in reality, that tip saves FIU a potential no doubt. pass break bucket. That was too almost guaranteed. Now the Blazers will run the set they drew up in the previous timeout. They haven't scored the last two minutes of overtime. Jelly's on the right side, guarded by Dean. Walker, the conference player of the year. Will he be the one to create? Seven seconds left. Gaines, jump pass. Oh, Dean got in the passing lane. Giddens with a second left, lays it in! Incredible! An unbelievable sequence at the end of overtime. Gaines' pass is stolen. Giddens got in transition, makes the basket and the foul. Unreal from Deshaun Giddens. He was the target with one second left. They couldn't get him the ball, but he finds a way. And again, it's a newcomer for FIU coming up unbelievably clutch. No timeouts for UAB. Giddens can miss intentionally here too. Yep. He'll make it. That guarantees you three. Inbound, shot at the buzzer. It will not count. And FIU has upset UAB 